Here with Audrey Cole of Missouri Valley Lady Red Softball. Audrey, what a night for you. Yeah, your 500th career strikeout. You had a three-run home run. You had a five RBI. Uh, talk to me. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited. It was a really good night, you know. We lost Underwood the last time, so we knew that we had to come out and play our best game. And, you know, I think we just did that. So, Talk about that. Uh, your one loss of the season is against this Underwood team, 14-13, uh, about three or four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You come back out tonight, win 17-2. to What changed? Yeah, well, we knew that this was a good team, you know, when we played them the last time. But um, I think that after that loss, we kind of realized that we can get beat by anybody on any, many, any night. Um, so, you know, we just brought our A game today. You know, I had an off game that day, so I just brought my A game. Um, and then our team continued to hit the ball throughout the game. So, You didn't have an off game tonight. Uh, nine strikeouts from the circle, uh, including your 500th career strikeout. Obviously a pretty big reaction there from the crowd when you got that. Well, what did that feel like? Just kind of put into perspective what it means to hit that milestone. Yeah, um, the crowd is just like my biggest supporters. You know, my teammates in the dugout, my teammates on the field. Um, I couldn't do it without any of them. And so just seeing them be excited for me is, is great. Tonight specifically, what were, you, what were you seeing in the circle? Yeah, um, I was just, you know, trying to make my spins work and get those um, good because, you know, the last time we played them, my spins weren't as good and I'm more of a spin pitcher. So, um, you know, I was just trying to make those work as best as I could tonight. And then obviously uh, the three-run shot there in the in the fifth inning. You also had a double, a single, uh, just about hit for the cycle. Just kind of talk to me about what you were seeing uh, at the plate. Yeah, so, you know, I've been struggling a little bit with my hitting. So today, um, pregame hitting, you know, I worked with my assistant coach. Um, and we just changed up my form a little bit, you know, changed up my load so that I wasn't getting ahead of myself. Um, and then just trying to keep myself hands back, get on time, and then hit the ball. So. Offensively, you guys just kept the line moving. What, what does that say about this offense and how you guys can score? Yeah, no, we worked really hard. And, you know, we, I think last year one of our things was is that we would get up and then we would stop. But this year we've really worked on trying to get through and just keep going and keep going. And that's what we did tonight. Moving forward, uh, you guys are 17-1 and one now, sitting atop the wick in the standings, uh, ranked in the top 10 in the state. Uh, just talk about what are the goals for this team? Yeah, um, obviously our number one goal is make it to state. Um, that was We said that at the beginning of the year, make it to state, win the wick. So we're doing both of those right now, and we just got to keep working hard and hopefully do, do this. All right, Audrey. Well, congratulations on a phenomenal performance. Thanks for the time. Here with Missouri Valley Softball head coach Rick Barker. Coach, a 17-2 victory dominant here in Underwood tonight, uh, avenging your only loss of the season to Underwood uh, from about a month ago. First of all, just kind of talk to me uh, your overall thoughts about this game. Well, you know, the first night we played them, uh, we weren't really gelling together. It was early in the season. We beat Atlantic the night before. We were probably feeling pretty good about ourselves. And the thing about the Western Iowa Conference is they have every night they have a way of humbling you. And if you don't come out to play uh, like Underwood showed that first time, you know, you can be beat. And tonight our kids were ready for that. Our kids were prepared. Uh, and this one was kind of on the calendar. But we were ready to play this one tonight. Coach, uh, talk about Audrey Cole. I think she's kind of the main story of the night. She gets her 500th career strike out in the circle. Also rips a three-run home run in the top of the fifth inning just for a little icing on the cake. Just kind of put into perspective the kind of player she is. Oh, well, she's really grown into a great team leader for us. And there's no one on this team that works harder at softball than what Audrey does. She puts a ton of time in the gym. She puts a ton of time in the batting cages. Um, so she's getting the things she deserves. And, and she's worked for everything she's got right now. Talk about uh, the offense. Uh, just kept the bats rolling. Uh, just kept the line moving. Batted it through the order five times in five innings. Just kind of talk about that and, and what what your girls were seeing tonight. You know, I've been at Missouri Valley a long time now, and this is probably one of the best lineups we had. One through nine can hit the ball, hit the ball hard. You know, we just don't feel that there's a weakness or a hole in this uh, lineup right now. We feel like everybody going to the plate gives us a chance to score. Um, you know, and, and, they're, and they're showing it each night out. It's a different kid. It's a different face. It's a different name. Um, and so we're really proud of this team effort. Talk about defensively. Uh, just kind of if you like what you're seeing and maybe, uh, you know, some of the things that you guys want to work on. You know, obviously, Audrey in the circle is a big part of our defense, but everybody uh, takes pride in trying to back her up and support her. Like we said, she works extremely hard, um, and we don't want to have any letdowns in the field. And so our outfield to our infielders, to our corners, to our middle, uh, to the catcher, they're working their tails off right now to be clean defense. You know, I, I think eight airs on the year, six airs on the year, something like that. Uh, extremely great softball for them right now defensively. If there's anything, I, I know it might be kind of tough to find because uh, you're 17-1 and one right now, but if there's anything you want to improve upon, what would that be? Oh, there's a ton of things right now. We have to continue to get better, you know, night in and night out. I think consistently um, 
playing every night uh, to the level that we expected, to the level we saw tonight. So I think consistency uh, and going out and doing it every night is going to be our big challenge and getting better. Like I mentioned, Coach, you're 17-1. and one. You're ranked in the top 15 in Class 2A. Uh, really feels like the sky's the limit with the way this team's playing right now. Just uh, talk to me about your goals moving forward. Well, our goal every year is to be in the top three of the WIC. And, you know, it's been a long time. I think 2010 was the last time we've won Western Iowa Conference. And so that's where we're going to start is we're, shooting, we're aiming to win the WIC. Uh, and then we'll see where that gets us right now. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations on the performance tonight. Thanks for the time. Thank you.